This large round hill southeast of downtown Austin and near ABIA is called Pilot Knob. It's been a landmark for explorers, early settlers, even aviators. But long before humans arrived and looked up to the sky, this rocky hill was under a shallow sea and something to be avoided. It's the stump of a marine volcano that erupted back uh, during the late part of the Cretaceous period. Uh, and uh, the time frame I'd put on that is circa 80 million years. UT's Dr. Charles Chuck Woodroff spoke to me by Zoom and is known for his expertise in Central Texas geology. Yes, it would be fairly active, and it's not just the only one. It's, it's part of a whole series that um, runs northeast from Pilot Knob up into uh, Williamson County and probably beyond that. Uh, uh, there's a number of, of, they're all buried. How big was this volcano? Is this something like those volcanoes in the South Pacific rising out of the sea? Well, it would have been like that. It would have, I think somebody's measured out if you take sort of the, the size of it uh, exposed today. It was something on the order of five square miles. Tell me I'm not seeing lava. This South Austin monster came back to life Monday night on 911 Lone Star. This can become a mass casualty event. Thankfully, the show writers didn't turn Austin into Pompeii. The Monday night eruption is certainly the stuff of TV make-believe, but remnants of the real stuff can actually be found here at McKinney Falls State Park. And a lot of the visitors to the park have no idea. No, no, no. I would have never believed you if you had told me that without facts. The evidence is in plain sight, according to Park Superintendent Tommy Cood. You can see behind me uh, the gray-green rock behind me. That is nontronite, which is that volcanic ash from long ago. At the lower falls, under the limestone ledge, long lines of compressed ash can also be seen. One big section even dips down into the water pool. All of that was created because of water uh, wearing down the nontronite and creating the falls and the, and the caves under it. Dark green clumps of ancient volcanic ash can even be found on some of the park trails. And it's very brittle. And so that's why it erodes much quicker than the limestone. Do you find it amazing that you're holding 80 million years in your hand? 80 million years, yes. It is amazing. It's, it's incredible. What are the chances of Pilot Knot coming alive again? I would say close to nil. Woodruff did clarify, certainly not in our lifetime, but even in the world of geology, nothing is written in stone. Incoming! And in the world of TV, Pilot Knob will erupt again in reruns in Southeast Austin. Rudy Kosky, Fox 7 Austin News.